Well, Brian, we're in one of the hottest places on the planet getting to drive and do something that we've never done before. This is pretty special. Behind me is a camouflage car. Do you know what it is? It's a mule they use for testing. Let's have a look. You think you know what it is? Let's get inside. It's very hot here. We got to get into the air conditioning. Well, usually when we get in a car to drive it, we turn the fan down. Uh, but you know what? It is 118 degrees Fahrenheit here in Death Valley, which is about 46 degrees Celsius. So if you don't mind, we're going to have the fan rolling. So the first question that I asked when we're coming here, why are we in Death Valley driving a camouflage car? It's a brand new Volkswagen. What's it called? It's the Atlas cross sport and what is an atlas cross sport well if you follow the marketplace you probably know that volkswagen came up with their three row mid-size suv a few years ago called atlas and it's the biggest in the class and it is sold incredibly well because up until now with the atlas there was no way to get a german three row suv now they have it and now they have a version of it called the cross sport and so instead of a three row suv this is a two row but it is their coupe version, let's say. So the back is a little bit cropped. It's uh, 5.7 inches shorter, mm -hmm. but you still get a lot of room in the back seat and a lot of cargo room still. They didn't change the wheelbase, the space between the front and rear wheels. And one of the great things about Atlas, the regular Atlas, is the second row of seats are absolutely enormous for space. And so you still get all of that. They didn't change the seat in the second row at all. They did delete the third row, but you get a massive cargo space instead. So this is somebody that looking to get a utility for their family, but what are they looking for first and foremost? Design for, for a two row. That's right, design for two row vehicles of this size, design is very, very important. However, we don't get to see what it looks like here today. You kind of have to guess. We did get a chance to see the Chinese version of this though, right? In China, the Atlas is called the Terramont, and they just introduced at the Shanghai Show this year the Terramont X. And I have a feeling that this Atlas Crossport kind of resembles what that Terramont X is. I'm going to guess, I'm going to go out on a limb, I have no idea because we can't see the car here today, but they might make it a little bit more rugged looking the way Honda did with the Passport, adding some sort of black elements to the vehicle. I think it might they might go that way. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. And now, under the hood, two engines available you wouldn't think a vehicle of this size would have a turbo four cylinder but that is the base engine and we drove down with the regular atlas here today from las vegas and it was totally fine what's the other engine the other engine is the br6 so that's a six cylinder they're both matched to an eight speed automatic transmission but this is the six that we're driving right now that has 277 horsepower, 276. I believe. 276 and 266 pound-feet of torque. Now this is the one that like 90% of the people are gonna buy, but the good thing is now for this vehicle, when it comes to the Canadian market, is that base four-cylinder turbo will come standard with the four-motion all-wheel drive. So that might be appealing on price for some people. Now one thing you don't get us doing very often when we're test driving vehicles is towing something. Yep. We are towing a brand new Airstream travel trailer behind us right now. And why are we doing that in the desert? This is where they punish for heat cars to make sure when you're driving it to the cottage or camping, it's gonna hold up. So Brian, when is this Atlas Crossboard coming? This is coming out at the end of the first quarter in 2020. We don't have pricing yet. You want to look at the competition. Probably the new Honda Passport is a good idea of where this vehicle will land. So we just have to wait a little bit longer. I don't know what's cooler, getting a chance to drive a camoed car or being here in Death Valley? Anywhere with air conditioning. <laughs> That's cooler. Anywhere. Anywhere.